So Cynthia, I took a trip through Aspen yeah. this last summer to go to going to a conference, and I had a miserable three days. Aww. I was looking forward to being in the mountains, and right. I just couldn't sleep, and I had a limited appetite. Um, does that kind of acute mountain sickness happen to a lot of people? Or does yes. this even count as sickness? This is just... Uh, no, it counts as sickness because you feel rotten. Yeah. And also because you get over it in a couple of days. So your body adjusts. It, it, for most people, yes. It, and typically, you'll arrive at altitude and you're a little bit out of breath. And, and um, acute mountain sickness with, uh, usually manifests itself after a night of sleep. Frequently or or, or not of sleep. Poor, of poor <laughs> sleep. <laughs> And uh, acute mountain sickness will be breathlessness, uh, nausea, a pounding headache. Um, some people faint. So what is it about being at a high altitude that causes this? What's the mechanism? That's a good question. There have been a number of hypotheses, some suggesting that it's the increased blood flow to the brain and Others saying, well, maybe it's oxidative damage at altitude. It's less oxygen, but more oxidative damage? Exactly, because the mitochondria aren't operating at full efficiency because there isn't enough oxygen. So one of the consequences is that the oxygen that normally, and the, the protons that would normally go through the uh, mitochondrial process of metabolism to produce ATP, kind of drift they, out. They float loose. They, they, they float loose, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's interesting. <clears throat> so do we know what it is that causes the, We know it's low oxygen. Yeah. But do we know how that low oxygen causes the symptoms? No. We don't know how it gets to your head to cause it to pound or how it gets you know, to your stomach to make you nauseous. Sounds like it'd be a great thing to discover, especially for people who fly back and forth to high places. It would be great. Yes, that would be very nice. And uh, someone, I hope, does it. Wonderful.